Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. I uh, want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, some foods that you may want to think about eating more of. Um, I, I come to the United States every once in a while, and uh, I've noticed, uh, well, people are really getting out of shape. And uh, I notice when uh, you go out to eat, everything is really tasty. It's really good. And uh, that probably explains why people are getting out of shape. Uh, the first thing is they eat out more than what they used to. Uh, that's not a... Eating out is not a good thing, but people work so much they uh, are they don't feel like cooking. They don't feel like preparing. Now, uh, when you have kids, you don't feel like it your lifestyle screwed up uh, because your responsibility should be making sure your kids eat properly and get in good habits and that means giving them the proper food and that means you have to prepare it uh, but so and really for you you should be having this stuff too but like I say we believe we work hard enough and we uh, deserve to go out to eat and all this other kind of so that's how we get ourselves out of shape uh, but uh, now since I've been here I've noticed the same thing it's uh, uh, convenience cooking now we don't have any kids uh, so uh, we just focus on something easy to make and uh, uh, this is what I want to talk about some of the stuff that's easy to prepare and uh, it may not be the best, but it's sure a lot better than what you've been doing, more than likely. Um, <clears throat> now, it's hard to have uh, fresh vegetables and uh, and and keep them keep them uh, accessible, and so. Uh, so, but really what you need to do is one of the things is make uh, a pot of soup, a big pot, uh, throw your chicken in there, boil your chicken, you're making broth. Um, the chicken, you, uh, after it's been cooked, cooked down, you, uh, uh, pull the chicken out and uh, you skin it and uh, so there's no skin just the meat and go on and debone it uh, just get the meat and you can chop it up and put it in sandwich bags or whatever and uh, put it in the freezer so you have that uh, the broth after it cools down is going to be fat you skim the fat off let it cool down you can put it in the refrigerator and then you can dip the the soup out whenever you want it and uh, you can go on and microwave it or put it on the stove and warm it up and then you can put uh, uh, the chicken that you had in there if you got some um, any type of meat same thing you just chop it up and throw it in your, your the soup that you're preparing for that meal and that's a good place to throw all your vegetables uh, you don't need to sit there and boil it and boil it uh, because it's already been cooked, your broth. Uh, so then you can get it up hot and then throw your vegetables in there and then eat your vegetables like that. It'll be, uh, still be crispy and uh, I say you put enough meat in there that you want to do with it. Uh, the best is brown rice. Uh, brown rice digests uh, easier than white rice. 
uh, and it's the same thing. You can make your rice and uh, make it ahead of time and uh, put it in the refrigerator. And like I say throw a handful of rice in with your soup or more. I mean, this is all good stuff. So you can throw as much of that good stuff in that soup as you want to. So uh, that's uh, an easy type of food you can prepare. Um, and I don't know if how great this is, but um, instant oatmeal and you make it with water make your instant oatmeal with water and you need to sweeten it up you use honey uh, that's that's good for digestion it's uh, antibacteria that the honey is so you got there's a little something there for, uh, for a fast easy breakfast uh, or you know, I say most any time you can um, get uh, nuts uh, I, I get lots of nuts. I get my nuts in big bags, and then uh, I uh, use. This, uh, matter of fact, I will make a meal out of nuts. I mean, I have uh, what cashews, mixed nuts, um, walnuts, um, almonds. Uh, oh, I really like peanuts, and mix some raisin in, raisins in with the peanuts, and. Uh, but the thing is, if you start making too much of a diet on that, it kind of thins down your bowel movement. So, uh, you know, you got to, and it's a, it's a good kind of oil. Uh, the nuts have good kinds of oil in it. So that's why it's a, it's a good thing to eat. Uh, now, uh, eggs. Uh, eggs are good. Uh, now I'm talking in general, all this stuff is in uh, there's some people be allergic to it and just just remember everybody's different and uh but like i say you can use uh the the eggs and cook them in all different kinds of ways people say well it's the cholesterol well uh cholesterol is comes from the the liver and your uh if your liver is, if you've got in general if your cholesterol is going up uh, I would be more concerned about your liver than trying to cut back on the cholesterol uh, because something uh, you, what it is your your uh, liver produces cholesterol and it will I would say it produces like 70 or 80 percent uh, of the cholesterol that you have the, the other you know 30 percent is what we eat and uh, so you can eat a lot of cholesterol stuff, high, of food and high in cholesterol, and it's really not, not going to affect you so much. So in other words, when the cholesterol comes up, it's, it's something going on in your, your uh, liver. And uh, we talk about toxins. Well, that's what's going on. Your liver is having to deal with all these toxins. And uh, so um, uh, you want to be, be gentle with your liver. And uh, we, we talked about uh, you eat uh, like supper, you'll eat supper, and that's why soup is, is good for supper. It's easy, easily digestible. But you need to wait about four, maybe five hours after you eat supper before you go to bed because your liver uh, will be digesting through the night. If you eat something and you go to bed, uh, your liver's gotta digest it and it won't be able to do its cleansing of the body through the night like it's supposed to so um, you've got that uh, I know a lot of people are big into salads uh, um, I can do salads I'm not quite sure uh, how uh, the, what the reason the salads are good it's easily digestible and so my problem is if you're having problems with digestion, so you're eating food that's easier to be digest, I'm more concerned about why you have poor digestion. And normally, I have found about 90% of the people that have low blood pressure, they have uh, uh, bad digestion. And... Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why they say they uh, uh, that exercise is good because the exercise, even if it's walking, it'll raise your blood pressure. 
and the blood pressure helps uh, like i say i'm not i'm not sure exactly how but like i say the the higher the blood pressure not the higher but on the higher end um uh, is uh going to help your digestion and then when you have good digestion well then you can eat more stuff now like i say i i uh, really care for my digestion and um so I can normally eat pretty much anything. And like everything is, it's the habit. What it is you eat as a habit. And that's the stuff that gets you. Now I like say here, I've been eating stuff that, you know, really is not all that good for me, but I say it's not as a habit. And then I do cleansing um, besides, uh, I don't know, like teas, uh, herbal teas and stuff like that that are for cleansing and I do that uh, all the time because I say that that helps things get going. Uh, uh, smoothies, uh, using frozen uh, frozen fruit, you can get the store bag of frozen mixed fruit and uh, you put it in a blender so you can make smoothies and that's always a good thing. You can put all kinds of stuff in your smoothies and uh, that that'll make it a, a good a good substance for eating and it's uh, pretty easily uh, put together um, another thing I've noticed is uh, crock pot cooking and uh, you get a good crock pot with a timer on it and everything you can go on and set it up in the morning and throw your stuff in there and, and uh, you know it'll cut off whenever it's done so in case you have something come up during the day you don't need to worry about going back and shutting it off so um, and like I say you just need to do your figuring on what you're going to put in your crock pot and uh, you want same thing stuff that's going to be easily digestible and then we're coming back to the vegetables and of course the fresh fruit is always a good thing and uh, but you need to be in the habit of doing this stuff and uh, when you see when you're in the right habits you will see things will come together a whole lot easier and uh, it'll be a lot easier to stay healthy because another thing if all you gotta do is look around you'll find out people that are not healthy uh, they spend most of their time and money trying to get their health back again so it'd be it's a lot easier to stay healthy energetic and ready to do things if you're consuming uh, the proper stuff and you need to think about this stuff just don't do the stuff that's convenient that somebody's pushed on you uh, like I say because the advertisement I know man there's a lot of advertising talking about foods too and I say all the stores or the restaurants and stuff you on the main drag and you'll see there's a lot of restaurants there that are, they're pushing their goods and I say a few of them have good goods so take personal responsibility over your diet this is Mike no stress Mike dot com